Hi, this is Catherine Dean Lopez from the National Review Institute's Center for Religion, Culture, and Civil Society. And uh, it's been two weeks since Roe versus Wade was overturned, which is incredible to still process. And I just wanted to remind myself and anyone else could, who could benefit from the reminder, what more are we doing individually to help women and babies and children in the foster care system? What more can we be doing? Because not enough is being done. There are so many pregnancy centers on the front lines that are currently being attacked, either physically or by politicians who want to put them out of business. I say business, they're not businesses. They want to shut them down. Making it look like they don't actually support at all women who, and girls, who actually want to choose life for their babies. This issue cuts to the heart of such pain, and there must be so much more love and compassion and invitations to healing and real listening and real sharing of facts rather than some of the misinformation that we've heard, some of the cruel language about, oh, I don't have to tell you, you've heard so much of it yourself. Anyway, I just wanted to remind us that we all need to be doing examinations of conscience and also considering how we can actually find common ground with people who don't agree with us so that we can help kids in foster care, so that we can help families adopt, help support families who do, and make sure that the young people in our lives know that they can come to us if they find themselves in an unplanned pregnancy. Because if we don't convey that, there's no way we're going to build a culture of life and a civilization of love. Thank you.